I had lunch today with a friend. This man needed some help with his business. When the meeting was over, instead of asking for any payment, which I really shouldn't because it was more of a friend lunch, I asked for a favor. So I had helped give him a bunch of very valuable information about business. And when we were done, I asked for a favor. And the favor was, he has a relative that has a feud with my relative. And I said, now, I don't know the circumstances. I don't want to accuse your relative of anything. But here's what I'd like to ask you. I'd like to ask you if you could ask your relative, who has a feud with my relative, if either they could get a hold of my relative and explain to them how there was a misunderstanding, or if, in fact, your relative had actually done what my relative thought your relative did, they could apologize. So he says, okay, I'll do it. This guy I met with and helped out in a business situation is going to go talk to his relative who he has social collateral with. And we may bring to peace a feud that has been happening from two people who aren't related. They're related now because of me and my new friend. There's been a feud going on in my family, my wife's family. Before I went to bed, I said, there's no reason for us to have these family events have to split the family events because these two people are fighting. I asked my wife in the morning, I said, look, we have the social collateral to end this argument. Let's make an agreement. This has been going on for months. Let's make an agreement that we'll call up the relatives and we'll tell them if they don't make up that we as a family are going to abstain from any more family events. We're going to use our social collateral to bring them back together. It had been months. That morning, we got a phone call. The feud was over. And we never even made the phone call. There was something about the fact that we were just consciously talking about this feud and how we wanted it to end, that it would end. And another funny thing about feuds, you can't stand him and he can't stand you and forever you guys can't stand each other. Then something happens, you guys blow up and you have this horrible breakup. Then you reconnect and for the first time in your life, this guy who you never liked are now decent or pretty good friends because of the breakup. Sometimes the evolution of a friendship has a breakup in it. Sometimes you never really get intimate to a really intimate level until you've had that breakup. So some of these people who didn't like each other, who then have horrible breakups, they may be in the process of an evolution of a fantastic loving relationship and sometimes they need a little facilitating on our parts to bring them together. It sounded right. Social collateral, that's what we're talking about. Do you have enough social collateral to end a feud anywhere? If you do, you can make a big difference for world peace. And I would like you to inspire you. If you haven't done it, use your social collateral for peace. My buddy John, his wife was dying. His wife was dying. Relatives were calling and saying, what can we do to help? We'll do anything. His brother calls and says, I'll do anything to help you in your time of need. And you know what my friend John says? He says, you and mom have been fighting for years. Call up mom and make up with her. That's what I want. You ask me if there's anything you could, that you could do to help me. My wife's dying. We're going through a lot of pain. And what I want you to do to help me is to make up with mom and end that feud. And they did. Mom and son are now together again. Because my friend used his powerful social collateral to end a feud. And you can do it too. You know who else could have done that? You know what social collateral the United States had after 9-11? The outpouring of affection and love, we could have done so much with that. I believe that the United States has squandered and perverted that social collateral into a debt. A debt to society when it could have been a fantastic credit. We could have used all of that goodwill for something fantastic. Instead, we massed it into a horrible, grotesque monster that eats things. Let me know what you can do and what you will do to use your social collateral to build peace. Any bridge, anywhere. I'm talking bridges between children, between pets, between relatives, between friends. Let's do it. Let's make peace together. Let's use our collateral for peace.